ATA for telling my stepmother she's not my mom and I am not going to give her that mother slash daughter experience. My stepmother married my dad when I 17 F was 10 and my mom died when I was 5. My stepmother and my dad have three sons together and no daughters. My stepmother always wanted a daughter though and when she married my dad she tried really hard to take over in the role of mom. I never wanted her to be. That's not a her specific thing. I wouldn't have allowed anyone else in to be my mom. Still, I liked my stepmother for the first couple of years and other than a couple of annoying things. She tried to give me a more girly nickname because my name is more unisex and her talk of being a new mom. It got more strained though when my oldest half-brother was born just over a year after my dad and stepmother got married. Once he was born, she asked me if she could adopt me and if I would like to be her little girl, and I said no. My dad asked me to talk to him about it, and I told him nobody else could be my mom. He mentioned legal stuff and I said I didn't want the legal protections from adoptions and wouldn't choose my stepmother if he died anyway. My dad understood, and he told me as long as I treat her respectfully, he wouldn't push the issue. He talked to his wife about it, and told her the adoption was off the table and that she wasn't to bring it up again. My stepmother went crazy after that. She was always trying to sign us up for mother-slash-daughter trips and tried to spend more and more time with me. She would come up with random trips or experiences for us to do together, and she started cutting my chores and responsibilities that I did before I knew her. She admitted she wanted to show me how great having a mom again could be. I told her I didn't want her doing that stuff. Then I started making excuses and getting out of spending any time with her. She had my second half-brother and was growing more depressed that we never spent time together anymore. After my third half-brother was born, she really got intense. It didn't help that she found out I had gone to my grandma over her with my first period and I hadn't mentioned getting periods to her at that point. I had them for three-ish years at that point. She had this whole talk planned and was upset that I had skipped it with her and went as someone else. She was also upset that I didn't experiment with makeup really or go to her for makeup slash hair advice. Last week my stepmother told me she wanted to be the one I go prom dress shopping with. She told me it's a huge milestone for moms and daughters and she refuses to let us miss out. I told her I'd go with my friends when the time comes and she was upset and told me she wants this to be a nice mother-slash-daughter experience. I told her she's not my mom and I'm not going to give her this mother-slash-daughter experience. I told her she's not going to get any of those because she's not my mom and I don't want her to be. She got really upset and I heard her and my dad fight about it. He told her she can't force that on me. She said I should be more willing to let her in. Ida? In TA, your stepmother keeps pushing when you've made it clear you don't see her the way she wants to be seen. Her lack of respect towards you wanting to honor the memory of your mother is really not a great thing. You feel how you feel. If she really wants to be a mother figure, she should respect how you feel. Besides, from what you've said, this isn't about you more than it's about her just wanting a daughter and having had three sons instead. You can't escape it I guess until you can move out but definitely you're fine here. Yes. She always had this idea that she would have at least one little girl and she tried to make me that before she had kids, but it got so much worse when she couldn't have her own. This was about fulfilling a wish of hers. Makes me feel bad for my half-brothers because she has put a lot more effort into me than into them. While I feel bad for your stepmom, she really needs to let go of this whole mother-slash-daughter fantasy in her head. She should have let it go as soon as you made it clear you weren't interested in having her take that role in your life. And even if she had managed to have a daughter of her own, there's no guarantee she'd get those cutesy moments she desires with them either. What if that little girl grew up to be a tomboy, and with older brothers, very likely? What if she had no desire to do the whole hair slash makeup thing? Yeah, your stepmom needs therapy to deal with her disappointment that she didn't get a girl, and she also needs to step up and be a damn parent to her boys. This makes me feel so bad for your half-brothers. I'm again wanting a mom and the one that is supposed to be your mom is putting all the effort into being a mom to someone who doesn't want it. She is dooming the relationship between her and her sons and making it harder for you to have one with your half-brothers. I would at least be jealous if I was them. Here's the thing, even if she'd had her own bio-daughter, there's no guarantee she would be this girly girl who wants to do loads of mother-daughter stuff and have a super close relationship with her. Every kid is an individual and putting those kinds of expectations and entitlement on them is super toxic even when you're biologically their parent. Kids are people. It's wild how many parents truly don't seem to get that. You're amazing for holding and enforcing your boundaries the way you have. I'm so glad your dad gets it and is supportive of you as a person, instead of believing you're a means to a wish-fulfilling end for your stepmom. The irony is the harder stepmother pushes, the less the stepkids are likely to want anything to do with her.
much less see her as a mother figure. It's sad the woman can't see that. I feel badly for you, Opie, because she's been intruding into your space for so many years, ruining any relationship you could have had and making you out to be the bad guy. Sincere good luck, Opie. What I've learned from this sub is stepkids are like cats. Yeah, it's really sad. If step-parents didn't push for a specific relationship and just let it develop naturally, they'd be way more likely to have a relationship with their stepkid. Maybe they still wouldn't be called mom or dad, but the chance for a good relationship is so much higher. You are so right. I gained a stepdaughter when she was seven years old. I had four children of my own, and she was super excited to have siblings, especially since three of mine were girls, but not so excited to have a stepmother. I never pushed her. She had a mom, and I didn't need to be that for her. I was there if she needed me, if she wanted to just talk, or wanted my perspective on something. We had a few issues during the teen years, but then again, with four girls going through puberty, if you don't have issues, you should probably contact the Guinness Book of World Records LOL. My stepdaughter is 38 now, calls me mama, her mother is mom, and she gave us a gorgeous 16 years old granddaughter, who knows me as just her Gigi, like all the other grandchildren. All you have to do to have a good step-parent slash stepchild relationship is just don't push it. Be what the child needs, not what you need. I think Opie's stepmother really needed to learn that lesson years ago. Opie is into gay at all. I think there's a lack of respect on all sides here. Esh. Opie, in addition to your stepmother pushing too hard, you also seem to be full of hatred for someone who frankly sounds like they were just trying to be nice. You were young and bereaved when she joined your family and she will never replace your mom. But cut her some slack. You talk of her with such disdain. I think when you're older you might look back on this differently. You forget which form you're in. The cold, hate-filled stepkid is always right, even though the step-parent was simply trying to love and parent them. Opie lost her bio-mother at five and evidently shut a gate on any additional loving parental women in her life. It's just such a waste. The behavior Opie self-describes here isn't even civil. It's not even, you will never be my mom. It's, you will never be my family. And I honestly don't get that. Opie is even doubling down by not letting the stepmom do anything remotely companionable or special with her. Why not let her go dress shopping with her if it means that much, etc.? She's just kicking this woman in the face because she can. But it's 99% of the way it goes in this sub. The stepkid gets validated for being a hateful ass for their entire childhood because everyone else yells that their boundaries were crossed, etc. NTA. You can't help that you never felt that connection. You were a little snappy, but she did keep pushing and has been pushing you for years. This is so sad. If she wasn't so dead set on the title and adoption papers, she could have had all those things, just as a stepmom instead of a mom. Some stepkids are ready to accept a stepparent as a replacement parent right away. Some never are. But that is up to the kid and not the adults. But anyway, she likely would have had a better relationship with you if she wasn't so pushy. She may have been someone you were more willing to let in, if there wasn't a no motive behind it to manipulate you into being her little girl. You may have never been quite as close as she wanted, but you'd likely be much closer than you are now. We got along way better in the first year or two of the marriage. I liked her. I thought she was sweet and other than a couple of annoyances, I did talk to her more openly than I did after she had her first child. That was the start of things just getting bad and where I started to dislike her. NTA. It's one thing not to give each other a chance for a relationship to grow. It's another to force it. I'm a stepmother and yours is dead wrong interactions. Y'all could have had a good relationship if she didn't try to replace your mother. If she let it naturally develop. She didn't. That's on her. Yeah. My stepmom and I don't necessarily have a good or close relationship, but it's fine. She never tried to be my mom, and when she sort of took up the mother of the bride stuff for my wedding, it wasn't my favorite thing, but it made her happy, so whatever. If she had tried to force any type of parental relationship, we wouldn't have even been at that spot.